folks, I thought of a brilliant video idea earlier today, and I know it is going to be extremely informational, educational, and at least entertaining. See, I've been making daily silver videos since 2016, but the majority of you have only been subscribed for the past two, three years. I even made a poll a couple hours ago to confirm this. So 90% of my videos you have never seen. And since most of you are newer stackers, these first videos I made could be extremely helpful and insightful. See, when I first started, I was just showing off my stack. I didn't know anything. I was a beginner. So actually the comment section of my videos was how I learned a lot. And there was not many silver stacking channels out there to learn from. Very, very few. We're gonna react to some of my first YouTube videos and you will see how much different the community was, I was, and my videos were. I didn't know about the markets or, or what affected it or geopolitics or the economy me or any of I didn't know any of that stuff I just liked the coins I bought them and then I learned you know with the different types of stacking and I did so many silver pulls this was the first one it was asking if you're a bullion stacker collector flipper we would go into uh, like where do you buy from online dealers private sellers local coin shops we would ask uh, you know the major what the majority of your stack is you know like bullion like eagles or or if you were going into graded stuff we did so many different pulls how long you've been stacking zero to five months six months I just wanted to get an idea of the community what it was like um so yeah we did a lot of polls maybe we could check out some of those um, and you guys could see the types of stuff I used to buy which was a lot of very high premium stuff I mean look at these pictures you know it was a lot of pandas a lot of kookaburras but you know I was learning let's jump into this I think this is going to be a very interesting and fun type of video and I hope you enjoy hey what's up guys welcome to my channel this is my first video. So, um, I've been on this silver stacking YouTube community for a while now, but, um, I'm finally sharing some of my stack and what I've collected over a little bit of time. A lot of you guys, if I told you guys my other YouTube account would recognize me, but I instead wanted to make a new account because the other account has more personal videos of my location and my face and all that so I preferred to just make a whole new account where I can openly share all this and keep it a little more private. A little backstory there. Uh, I actually found that original channel. It is deleted now, but uh, I did an unboxing on that channel. This was a long time ago, right? You could even see in this introduction, I've been saying I was a part, I've been a part of this community for a while now, been stacking for a while. So I've been, I've been stacking for uh, quite a, quite a long time. I mean, this was my first video, but this isn't right when I started stacking. Uh, this is just when I wanted to make an actual channel, but you could see, um, you know, I have a lot of maples and eagles, Britannias. We had some constitutional. I even have to show off some gold right here. I'm actually pretty impressed with my stack this long ago. These reverse proof maples are still some of the most beautiful coins I've ever seen. Um, it's like the frosting on these looks so cool and it makes the leaf pop out. This is the rooster privy, the 2017. But um, yeah, I had some junk silver. I love mercury dimes, I still do. Um, you can see a lot of kookaburras. Um, I had my slabbed coins. Hold on, a lot of pandas, obviously. Oh yeah, and you can go into some of these. This is still this was my first ever expensive purchase. Um, the 2016 PF70 Ultra Cameo Moon Festival Panda. I love that coin. Uh, I have two of them now actually, just because I don't know. The, like look at that the detail. Um, but yeah. A lot of different stuff uh, so yeah that was that was my original video kind of just showing off what I have but now let's go into some of um, some other things I'm not gonna go into like storing your silver this was just because of a lot of people were asking about my coin capsules and the coin tube so I showed those off um, this was a discussion about high premium stuff uh, got some pickups from my local coin shop right here uh, here, this is, we should actually talk about this. What's up guys, we're back for another video. So you're gonna see a lot of these are direct fit capsules and then you'll see the black gaskets. You guys can go to um, airtights.com 
or on fire guy his ebay page is phenomenal um it will say the sizes nowadays but back then i don't think it did so what i would do is make videos showing hey if you have pandas this is the because it labels all of them very weird there's like the h type tubes there's the eye tubes and you need to know because all these coins are different diameters like a maple is much smaller than an eagle um, and like a britannia is a different size than both of those if i'm not mistaken so it's it's very tricky um but so i would make videos to help everyone with that you could see i also think it says an antique coin collection was this the video oh no that was a different video but yeah i was teaching people about those so i guess i was kind of an educational channel back then i also have a whole bunch of bank notes, like old world coins and bank notes. Uh, I thought those are pretty cool, like the Zimbabwe trillion dollar bill. Um, this was a big unboxing I did. Well, for me back then, this was a big unboxing. Um, let's see, selling your, here's, this is what it looks like. I would buy the correct type caps. I like the black gaskets, so most of mine were black gaskets, which if you had a direct fit, it wouldn't see See how like these uh, Dragon and Phoenix direct fit wouldn't fit. So very organized. I don't do this anymore. This was just because this was way back when I was like very finicky. I was addicted to the fullest degree, nonstop looking online. Uh, most of you are probably still in that phase. Um, and that phase never really goes away. It's just in terms of like the storing, you know, I would list like all of these maples and I would, I would, uh, you know, label them and I don't really do this anymore. It probably is, you know, pretty, uh, pretty beneficial, but a lot of times they'll just buy tubes themselves instead of having to do all this. Um, but yeah, thought that was pretty interesting. This was a topic about selling your silver. So let's keep moving on. These were the best silver channels on YouTube. There was barely any, um, salivate metal was the first silver slacker. Uh, was my favorite. That's where I got my name from, Silver Slayer, Silver Slacker. There's Numa's Metals, or yeah, his name is Numa's Metals. And then uh, we also have uh, some videos of the Rwanda. This was the first coin I really liked. I mean, this thing looks wicked. It still does. Thanks for hitting 200 subs. Wow. Friday Night Silver Poll, Fractional Silver. Um, here, this is an interesting one. Semi Numismatic stuff is kind of contradicting because it's either boolean or numismatics right boolean is for the silver numismatics is not for the silver semi numismatics is for both like these pandas the design changes every year lower mintage numbers than eagles pandas are like eight million a year kookaburras are like 300 to 500 thousand per year so they're lower mintage numbers so they're more collectible so it brings a higher premium so instead of semi numismatic the term should just be high premium silver this is still technically boolean it still really is like besides the the reverse proof maple leaves you could see up here in these slab coins but pan normal pandas even though the design changes yearly it's still considered bullion a lot of local coin shops will still offer you the same price for these pandas as they would for an eagle um so you got to be careful with that but that's also why you would never sell to a local coin shop but um you could see through here i'm just kind of showing off stuff I didn't really have much of a stack yet, but a lot of it was just the conversation. Um, so let's see some of the results. So here's here's a one with uh, with some results. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back. As you guys can remember, I asked you guys to vote upon three different categories. We had the Boolean stacker, we had the collector slash flipper, and then we had a little bit of both. So we could pick A, B, or C. And now we are about to check out what you guys voted upon with the majority. So we had a total of 51 votes in this video. Wow. Okay. So stacker, I mean, a Boolean stacker, I guess, is technically a stacker, but maybe that probably meant like you stack and you collect. This was collector and flipper, like only those people that constantly go to coin shows, those just flip stuff. They don't care about stacking at all. Um, so yeah, most people are stackers and collectors. I'm curious what that poll would look like now. Um, oh, mostly outdoors. Oh man, I forgot about this guy. And Nick, silver bean counter. Oh, I just got, I just got so much nostalgia from seeing these names like the community used to be so close back then like mostly outdoors this was like a 17 year 16 year old kid maybe even younger and i got him into stacking 
man. Oh, that is crazy. That is crazy. I forgot. Uh, but anyways, yeah, those are some interesting results. This one's interesting. Uh, where do you buy your silver from? That their coins are legit and they come in perfect condition. So B, we have private sellers. This is talking about eBay sellers. So yeah, um, man, it's so interesting to go down and see all these people. Like these were like, like look at Silver Wolverine back then. I'm sure a lot of you know him now. Like that is crazy. Oh, wow. This probably means nothing to you guys. Obviously it doesn't unless you're one of these people, but that is crazy, man. Man, the community used to be so small. Uh, but yeah, there were some perks, local coin shops like building relationships, no shipping fees, uh, you know, low costs. So yeah, a lot of this is still relevant. So let's let's go on. I know this is probably somewhat of a boring video in my head when I was thinking about it. I thought it'd be more entertaining, but I'm sure, you know, it still is. It could still be pretty, uh, you know, educational. Talked about gold to silver ratio, earning free gold or free silver. I talked about why I use coin capsules. This is interesting. As close to spot as possible. Oh, I can't play that intro anymore. Topic the song's because topic. It, um. You know, a lot of people wonder why we pay the amount we do. And um, I just want to go over a few reasons and, um, you know, things to consider while buying junk silver. You could, you could tell I was still kind of new to the, <laughs> you know, to making videos because I really would beat around the bush when I talked and I would talk pretty slow. A lot of people don't like that because you know you're you're taking their time right the, you're taking time out of their day to watch your video so they don't care what you ate for lunch just get to the point i learned that as the years went on so back weight and just to get as close to spot possible as is um as close as spot to pos as possible <laughs> to stack <laughs> what am i doing man? and get their weight up um, it's also very recognizable, you know, um, if there was ever a situation. So yeah, I said it's cheap, limit, uh, high premiums. Um, I don't know what I meant by that. Let's see. Also, when you're buying junk silver, um, you can come across key dates, which... Oh, so that was, I'll say limited supply, that makes sense. Liquid makes sense. Um, oh, so here's tips. Okay, cool. And this is where the most watched part of the video is, or most replayed. Your one troy ounce um, coins and bars and all that. When you buy junk silver, they the seller usually sells by face value. So. Yep, that's still true to this day. I'm a broker now, and we sell by face value. That's interesting. I knew that back then. Um, it's very interesting that I knew that. And I think that one of the tips I say is if they try to sell by weight make sure if they say an ounce they are going by a troy ounce not 28 gram ounce because a lot of sellers on ebay would would rip people off that way they'll say you know six actual ounces of silver but they're going by 28 grams they're not going by a troy ounce and i remember i'm pretty sure i mentioned that here so if you want to find out exactly how much silver is in there because this this is all 90 percent. yes face value times 0.715 cent silver so it's 0.715, but buying in ounces, you would do $2 times 0.715, and that will show you the amount of pure silver this in each coin. So there's there's $7.85 face right here. Yeah, that was back when silver was way cheaper, though. <laughs> That's crazy. $7.85. Okay, so, um, so yeah, I don't know. I thought this video would uh be i mean i think i still think it's really interesting oh the complete guide to silver stacking this was the first of the series i made it was a four-part series of breaking down exactly uh how to uh like from the most basic ba of the basics to like um expert i guess i did make a lot of educational type stuff back then adjusting my stacking strategy in 2017 uh, Queen's B series, common silver stack and mistakes. So, I mean, you guys, you know, you guys yourselves could go back, just type channel, go to videos and just go on oldest. 
um, my top 10 uh, most valuable coins, like silver pool number seven, which type of silver would you choose? Poured silver, constitutional. So yeah, I did a lot of very interesting stuff. You guys might like it. You know, I, I'm sure, you know, some people would think this is interesting. What price would you cash out at? So yeah, I don't know. This was just the majority of my uh, of my videos back then. One ounce versus 20. Oh yeah, I remember this video. I had a $20 bill and compared it to an ounce of silver. Oh, here we go. This is cool. I loved, uh, this was a video response. Mr. Monkey Swag uh, made a video asking everyone to show their favorite five silver pieces. So this was my response to his video. Hey, what's up guys? Silver Slayer, welcome back a very very clever way and um okay. so first obviously this thing is absolutely beautiful just really appreciate now i bar. want now i just i want my new silver the third edition silver slayer bars to be this like a four ounce kit kat this is a jaeger port silver uh four ounce kit kat bar so anyways next up we have the four ounce jaeger's port silver kit kat i really think that bar looks so cool i would love to get a four ounce uh style bar um yeah constitutional silver that i have it's just really cool to own a piece of american history from pre-1900 as this mint error of course i have some slab versions of these now rwanda of course one of the coolest looking coins as well so anyways yeah i'm gonna wrap the video up here i i thought it was pretty cool maybe you guys didn't maybe you know you don't really care but yeah just wanted to do something different for the channel and uh yeah anyways thanks for tuning in this was silver slayer i will see you guys tomorrow peace